Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fly Tie on Friday. Now it'll be tying a micro hair's ear. This is a size 22. I tied this up to a 24 as well. But um, I use this fly a lot for picky trout in uh, like tailwater sections or spring creeks. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. But I'm starting with a, uh, it's an Allen 304 size 22 with a 1.5 millimeter black nickel bead and 17 aught trico thread which is pretty much the smallest thread I have but uh, it's really fine and you gotta be careful when you work with it but so this fly basically it's a uh, super easy super fast fly to tie it literally has only two materials we got the tail and body that's made out of a hair's mask and then just the wire rib plus your bead I guess um, so we're gonna tie in just a little bit of hair's mask, the long guard hair fibers from the center of the mask. That'll be your tail. And I know it's probably tough to see right now, but let me get this tied in. And that'll just be your uh, tail fibers. And I go a little bit down the bend of the hook with those fibers. Um, just so they kind of curl down backwards a little bit and trim those uh, longer fibers out of the way. Alright, then we'll just secure all that down. And we'll tie in a wire for the rib. I'm using uh, Danville's fine wire. It's uh, just the gold. And you don't need much of that, but tie that in. Once you got the wire tied in, uh, you're going to just want to select a little bit of dubbing and pick it from all over the mask but you want the finer fibers for the most part just because this is such a small hook and I like them to be like a lighter colored fly if you can help it but really any color on the hair's mask is good stuff and we want to dub this pretty tight make the form a pretty tight dubbing noodle and uh, it's just such a small hook and go ahead and wrap that up towards the head you want to try to build as much of a tapered body as you can working towards the head getting larger and around the head it can be a little looser too you want the legs to Kind of up here around the head so all those guard hairs are going to form legs for you. Just about like that. Alright, then we'll just wrap this gold rib up. And you can try to put legs in a wing case and all that on here, but honestly this is just all I do and uh, it's a really great all around um, pattern just like it can imitate little mayflies and scuds and anything like that that you find in tailwaters and I'll just take some junky scissors and trim that out but this fly has been a a code cracker for me for sure um, I've uh, I use it a lot as a dropper behind a really small like midge dry fly and that just is a, a great pattern when they're keying on the small stuff so like I said I tie this down to a size 24 even 26 and up to a 18 or so as well you can also rough out the fibers with a piece of velcro and just get it looking a little bit buggier but 
Um, just as it is, it's a uh, it's pretty sweet, just all around little nymph. So hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, here's a video of last weekend. I was actually using this nymph on a spring creek um, in Central Maryland. So check it out. And uh, here's a couple a couple fish I caught with it. So and hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next week on another Fly Time Friday. A rainbow. First fish of the day on the size 22. Small fly, real tiny. <laughs>